But we begin with a live pinpoint Doppler 12 weather alert. Right now, there is a flood warning in effect for the Patuxent River in Cranston. All of this week's rain is sure adding up. The water is expected to go several inches above flood stage tonight. All across the state, including here in Cumberland, drains could not swallow up the water fast enough, turning a local road into, pond, into a pond and even forcing the closure of some streets. It was a similar scene on Post Road in Warwick, where cars, trucks, and school buses looked more like boats. We have pinpoint weather team coverage tonight. Chief Meteorologist Tony Petraca is standing by, along with Eyewitness News reporter Sean Daly in Providence. We begin with Walt Buteau, live in Cranston with the West Bay Mobile Newsroom. Walt? A lot of river watchers coming into the Broad Street Bridge in Patuxent Village to take a look at the river, and you can take a look as well. Take a look down now, and you can see it rushing pretty well, rising relatively fast as it heads into the harbor here, but there was plenty of water where it wasn't supposed to be this morning. Krentz and crews did their best to unclog the storm drains, but you know where the blame will be aimed for the flooded roads and parking lots. The drains are not kept clean, the water comes down and goes through the back like a tsunami. This has not changed in all these years that I've been here and now we are flooded out again. Almost every driver avoided the deep water. But the woman driving this car on Wilbur Road learned the wet way she could not make it through six feet of water. This Mercedes is one of the cars that got stuck, and as you can see, it didn't get very far from the puddle, maybe only an additional 20 feet. Then there were drivers who for some reason steered onto lawns to avoid flooded roads. Going through here 35, 40 miles an hour, you can't believe the SUVs. On your lawn? On the lawn, right, on the lawn. It's unbelievable what these people are doing. They dug up the whole front lawn. And this is about as close as you want to get to a rising river as people watch the Patuxent move toward the top of her banks. Now we're live in Patuxent Village with the Mobile Newsroom, Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News.